Go see my friend Jamie's new shop. Let's go! Y'all check out the lights on these this bad boy. It's a cool suit here. Tell you what, it's almost an award winner. Went to a Christmas party, got second place. Shout out to Jamie and Eric too. Eric is one of the brothers. He's he wasn't here. He was on a cruise or something. What? That's crazy, bro. Anyway, let's get into the video. We're pulling up in here. They got some cool stuff going on. You know, all kinds of stuff. Growing some plants over here. Got thousands of bales of pine straw right there. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're here at J&E headquarters and uh, he's going to give us a little walk around and just show us like the trucks and the mowers and landscaping stuff and all that. So let's get into it. It's going to be real cool, alright? One of our um, Ford F-250s, we have one of our maintenance trucks and uh, I think it's True One, <laughs> use this yeah. one. Okay. And um, I mean, it has been a good truck for us. I got gotcha. you. And this is the newest one we recently purchased this thing's sweet it's my favorite one <laughs> <laughs> it's a 2017 gmc okay. sierra yeah uh 1500 well, we got a pretty good deal on it so. how many you miles do you already have on this uh it has like 5,000. oh wow 5,000 miles this thing's brand new yeah brand new and i can see you even have like a fancy little uh thing that like holds the phone in there got fanta peach in there Ready to go. <laughs> Alright, what's this one? This is my truck. This is the one I normally drive around to meet customers. Just so kind of like a personal truck almost, right? Yeah, this is my, you know, it, it gets around pretty yeah. good. Yeah. And the good gas mileage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, and we, we. And we you could use it for work if you really had to, you know, in that to. situation. Yeah. sometimes, you yeah. know, to do small projects or. Right. Uh, yeah. Details. Yeah, guys, I didn't even know he had this one. He didn't even tell me. <laughs> so, I knew he had the little black Toyota, but you, that you'll see in a minute, but I didn't know he had that one. This is my landscaping truck. This is uh, the one I move my equipment with or whenever we get big loads of debris. Uh, this is the one, dirt, rock, anything. You know, this is the to-go tr to truck right here. Right. Uh, it's a 3500 <clears throat> diesel coming, so... Yeah, do the job. Oh yeah, and he got that cool new bumper on. That wasn't he didn't always have that. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, we you know we got um, a deer problem here in Georgia. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually had a friend this morning at church. A lady and she had like a real nice Jeep. I don't know what you call them. They're like kind of the box ones, like only like a year old or something. She had deer this morning, and like it, the radiators all over the engine. I mean, it's, she had to get towed and all that. So, but that's neat. Yeah, and um. So you don't, do you not use this for your daily driver anymore? Because I used to see you just driving around even if you didn't have nothing on it. You used to just drive it around. No, I but, used to use it sometimes if I had to go, you know, meet customers and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, bigger projects. Uh -huh. that, um, yeah, so. So you don't just drive it around if you need no, to do I little don't. stuff anymore. <laughs> now they have the red truck. Uh, yeah. And show us. Um, this, this is a uh, 16 by... Uh, 16 by 8 Yeah, with 4 foot there. sides Oh wow, we 16 just, by 8 we 4 foot sides We got this uh, custom made so. and it has What do you mean good. custom made? They don't make them like this? They do, but uh, I see it's I got mean, a nice little spot where you put your yeah. You guys see this? It's really neat where you can like put your chains in there and stuff. 
you normally see those 14 foot, you know, uh -huh. pull behind and stuff like that. And we went and told the guys, hey, look, this is what we want. This is what we need. <laughs> and they basically did whatever we said. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's sweet. And they're really good uh, manufacturer around here. So. I got you. You get it in Monticello yeah, or something? Yeah, it's a local dealer around here. So. And it's a uh, gooseneck like you wanted? Yeah, gooseneck. And I, that trim piece was missing when I just bought my Dodge, which is like the exact same lights and stuff like that. And I just ordered on eBay, it was 35 bucks. Oh, yeah. yeah, for that trim yeah, piece. Snap, it. snap <laughs> in, no big deal. I haven't really, you know. Wow, I mean, that's piece. awesome. A yeah, really lot, really lot of room up there, boys. Yeah. Show us a little black truck, it's for sale, right? Yeah. But, um, see what happened with it. The. The spark plug broke inside the head. And oh, I on here? Yeah, and I recently replaced the, the head, so I was like, I'm not going to put no more money in it. I got gotcha. you. I went ahead and bought the red truck. But yeah, I'm going to sell it. Uh, I'm not even going to fix it. I'm just going to put it on Craigslist. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah, like it is. Yeah, it's neat. And I see. Yeah, guys, I used to run around with this all the time. Had lettering on it. It's just Elon service now. <laughs> <laughs> 06817, that's the number. <laughs> Look, you got a boat over there? Yeah, yeah it's, it's one of those pedal boats. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool, this is like some of their land. Oh, we gotta show them the red truck first. This is a bathroom we uh for the shop. You know, oh, shop okay. Because that wasn't there when I came. Yeah. So and neither was that. All you had was this right there. So go ahead and tell them about this, Joe. You had this one for a while. Yeah, this was one of the ones when we first started. Um, we had 1500s and pulling, you know, rocks and stuff and they yeah. kept on breaking. So we went, we went ahead and bought this. Ram 2500 is a diesel. This has the Cummins too. Yeah, Cummins. And look at this thing. High mileage club. What does that mean? I've never seen that before. Uh, it was like that when it was <laughs> Are you part of the high mileage club? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but it, this, I mean, this truck basically pays itself off. And, I mean, it's not long. Right. Yeah. Uh, we use it every day, especially in the summertime. Just yeah. Rolling. It's been a great truck for all the. Well, you probably had this, what, maybe three or four years, you think? Yeah, about four years now. And during summertime, I mean, we, we pulled the dump trailer every day. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, one. do you use this truck uh, more than the silver Dodge, or you use the silver Dodge more? I use this red truck more. Oh, you do? Yeah. Just for your everyday landscaping? Yeah. And do you use this dump trailer more than that dump trailer? We have, yes, because, um... <clears throat> this one's neat. This one's this smaller, one's though. This one's, one's like... We bought, so... Yeah. What size is this one? Looks like maybe this 14 or so. 7 by 12, I think. Yeah, 7 by 12. Oh, okay. And that one has been a really good trailer for us as well. Yeah. You, I mean, you had if, that one for a little if while. If you're doing but... landscaping and you don't have a dump trailer... Yes, it would be hard. One. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is... Now, can you Happy take hair. one of your skid steer and put it on there? You can. Or are you only on the big one? I have put my skid steer on this. It looks like it'd be a little tight getting up in there with it, but. It is tight, but I, I mean, I have a equipment trailer, but. Yeah. If I have to, if I don't have, if I don't want to take two right. trailers, I can take this one. Um, so show us your other lawn care trailers, and then we can move on to equipment. This is a, this is one of the first trailers we bought when we first started, and uh, it's a 2014 trailer. Uh, this seven, one looks like a 14 foot. Seven by 14. Yeah, foot. it's just like the little open one I have. Yeah. Nice. Nothing fancy on this one, really. No, it's, but. Just, it's lightweight and because I used to run V6 trucks, uh huh. So I needed lightweight. <laughs> 
Yeah. Lightweight trailer. And um, this is the newest one we bought. It's a 16. This is nice. Got the basket up there like I used to have on my old trailer. Got some uh, racks over there. Yeah. Now, wouldn't you put this trailer on the 250? Because 250 is, you know, built for more power than this one. I mean, over time. You know, you could put extra wear on this one. But yes. you don't think so? Yeah. Well, it's a V8 as well, so you right. can pull it. But yeah, for sure it will be better to put it on the 250. Um, it's just the, the guys that we have running that truck doesn't take care of, of it as good oh, as okay. have with this yeah. truck. <laughs> yeah. and so this is the more rougher crew, is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, both of them do a good job and everything, but this guy is more um, careful with the equipment. Yeah, I mean, because this is still perfect, yeah. you know. Yeah. Hopefully try to keep it that way for a bit. Yeah. Look at these steps are really neat. I think so. And the plan is to replace that truck with, that's going to be probably a landscaping truck in the future. Okay, yeah. We don't need a 250 really running in maintenance. Makes sense. Yeah. And you got some trimmer racks here. Rack them. That's interesting. And show us this trailer. This one's cool too. Actually, I like this. I like it with the, like the little open basket on the top. I yeah, think it's it neat. had a regular basket, you know, like the other uh -huh. one. And what we did with, we got one of my friends to cut it in half and use it like this. And we use, we get more use out of it this way. So you think you like it better like yes, this? Yes, I do. Personally, I think it's, it's better. Because uh, we didn't get no use out of it whenever it was closed. It's just a little harder to put stuff in and out when it's closed in. Yeah. I guess the only downside is you don't really have the anti-theft with that one, but, you know, that you would on the, another one, but yeah, still easier, right. though. You know what I'm saying? Because you can lock that one and can't get in there. But I don't think anyone would <laughs> steal that stuff anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's one of them cool soakies where, like, you pick it up and it locks or what? Or not? Yes, it, it is. Like, it'll just stay up for you. You don't have to do a chain and pin and all that. And look, and this is where you hold your uh, shovels there, which is also neat. What about this trailer? This is the one I normally use if I'm, if I got to do any little small project, I got to drive my Toyota. Yeah? Oh, okay. I'll pull it with this trailer. So you put this on the little red Toyota sometimes? Yep. This thing's pretty cool, too. I'm guessing this is like a 5 by 10 or so. 5 by 10. I think. Yeah. Yep. Then you even have a target range down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this one is pretty new or what? No, this one, uh, like three, four years old as well. The rims look new and stuff. Or... Yeah, we, uh, we replaced the, the tires on it. And the guys with the trailers, they, you know, they were seventy-five dollars wheels and tires on uh -huh. my wood. Yo, stay tuned for part two. Shows the mowers and all that stuff. And shout out to Logan Simpson. Uh, he was wanting a shout out. So there you go. A um, lot of cool stuff to come. Part two is great. Shows mowers, kids, tears, all that. So y'all keep.